or a community church in Atlanta, the war raging thousands of miles away in the Middle East is top of mind. All Palestinians are not terrorists. Reverend Timothy McDonald III says it's because he empathizes with the thousands of civilians killed in Gaza. Black people understand pain. We have a history of pain. McDonald is part of a group of more than 1,000 black faith leaders demanding President Biden call for a permanent ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. Why are you publicly calling for President Biden to demand a ceasefire? Because the time is now. Peace is the way. And the ceasefire is a concrete beginning for the pursuit of peace because it involves both sides. The president, while still supporting Israel, is currently pushing for a temporary ceasefire. He is hoping to get hostages out of Gaza and more aid in. The response of the IDF has gone way too far. The killing of innocent women and children, even babies. The longer this war has gone on, the more support President Biden is losing among the African-American population. Young black voters in particular, like Reverend Sean Smith, say they have grown frustrated with Biden over the war. Do you think the Biden administration and President Biden understands the depth that this could impact him? I hope he does, um, simply because of the fact that we want to make sure that we can get as much voter turnout as possible in November. And a lot of people who I know of personally is just saying that they're just going to stay home. And do what? Not vote. Something he says Biden can't afford. Young black people gave Joe Biden the state of Georgia. We can't turn out the young black vote, then he doesn't stand a chance. Still some, like Renika Strother, back the president's stance. I'm supporting of President Biden and what he's done on everything since he's been in office. And now he's making a choice to stand on one side. I'm going to pray that we're all doing what is the right thing to do and that it's going to all work out. Reverend McDonald still hopes President Biden changes course before it's too late. Do you think President Biden and his administration really understands how much his stance on the Middle East might hurt him among African Americans? I don't think he understands it now, but he's beginning to. Yami Shal Sendor, NBC News, Atlanta, Georgia. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.